Hey guys, it's Saf here with another Rage Shadow Legends video and I have to make an apology. I am now responsible for another nerf, I guess. That's what the that's what the comments are going to be. That's what the hate threads are going to be. I can already see them building up. I've seen people pinging me left, right and center. Hey, did you know that they've changed in feeble? You've got in feeble nerfed. I am sorry. Okay, I apologize, but I will be honest, it was probably going to happen because once you get your hands on Marius, you would have seen how utterly stupidly broken Enfeeble is against bosses. Something had to be done. Now, this has come out in the Raid Digest that has just been released today. It's about a day early, which is a bit rare, but I guess because of the festival creation start in the Armand's Fusion, people have been a bit excited. They've just kind of pulled it out a bit early. Um, I know there's like a new Chronicle video, there's free gifts going on. Make sure you check out everyone else's channels. They're all talking about all those things. I am here to just make an apology and talk about this Raid Digest. Now, the first thing we got to talk about is the Iron Twins mission. Now, if you want to see all of the missions, check out my video yesterday. There is a link on that video that takes you to the website where you can see, sort of read the whole list out. But there were specific missions that required you to clear specific stages of Iron Twins on their affinity. Now, this wasn't like the, the hard mode dungeons where it was like clear stage three or higher. This was literally clear stage one. And a lot of people were upset because they were saying, I'm going to have to spend my energy on a stage I've already completed. That's a waste of resources. I don't like this. Why can't it just be the highest stage possible? They've listened and agreed and they're going to change it Quote, in the nearest time. I like how Playroom come up with like some sort of, arb they, they always have some sort of unique arbitrary way of describing when something's going to happen. In the nearest future, in the nearest time, in, in an update coming soon. Like it, it's, it's like, can we just have a little bit more like in a week, in a month, in the next major update? Not in the near, what is the nearest time? I can tell you the nearest time in about five minutes is 25 past four. Is that going to happen? I don't know. They're very good at inventing these things, but... They are going to be doing it. The only thing I will say is tomorrow is when I'll be doing my first Iron Twins mission. So unless it's going to be in the nearest time, aka today, it's not going to help many people on those particular missions. So good that they're listening. It's a kind of a message to everyone who says Playroom don't care. They absolutely do listen. They just don't listen to some things that we really want them to change, like Polymorph. And hey, a video that I will be doing next week, Trender, because I'm frustrated with Trenda and I think we're back where we were with Corporal and Kadava and something needs to be done so we'll be doing a video on that next week. So the main topic though that we're here to talk about of course is Enfeeble. So what did Enfeeble used to do? It used to make it so the enemies would weak hit and when you apply that to a boss that means things like the clan boss can't stun you, the dragon boss can't poison you, the spider queen can't drop your turn meter, things like the hydra heads can't place poisons on you, can't provoke you, can't weaken you. Uh, things like the Doom Tower bosses, Grithian cannot steal buffs from you. It was crazy powerful. And when you think about all the different things that cause you problems, it would have made them all easy to do. I've seen some people using Androck to crazy success. Take Amius, for example, you put Enfeeble on him. He can never critically hit you or even do damage because he's going to weak hit. It makes everything so much more trivial. So when they announced Marius, he had an AoE A1 Enfeeble. It was quite clearly obvious, to me at least, they will change this because it's way too strong. And what they forgot to do, and I think this was a bit of an oopsie on Playroom's part, is they forgot to add it to the list of available debuffs that is applied to all bosses. That stops all these crowd control effects like stun, freeze, block active skills, block passive skills. All of these things are excluded and banned from those champions. Otherwise, it kind of defeats you can just bring someone who can stop the mechanics, right? It would, it would break the, the whole fight. Where they allow it, it's because of design philosophies. Things like Finite Hard, you can't freeze him, but it's part of the turn meter mechanic. Uh, Sand Devil Sleep is part of the, the sort of sleep mechanic. But generally, they, I think they just forgot to add it. So they're going to be adding it. Now, does that make Marius useless? No, because he's got an enemy max HP on the A2. And it is a weak multiplier, only 3%, but he has a defense multiplier with it. So it's going to be, if you have a Krizia, a bit like building a Crisia, where you have to work a lot harder to reach the cap than something like Newt, but you can still reach cap. So I think it will be absolutely fine. And he's a triple hit max HP AoE. So it's like having three Grizzors, three Husks. It's a very strong ability. The other cool thing about his passive is he can't be turn meter reduced. So if you make him the mischief tank, then what will happen is when the mischief head tries to attack him, it will attempt to drop his turn meter because it steals 50% turn meter. That will then block him and then Marius will automatically counterattack. So whilst it won't place in feeble, it will at least do bonus damage as well from his A1 multiplier. I personally would have made in feeble do a secondary effect when do when being placed on bosses rather than just banning it altogether. Something like 
the boss deals 10% less damage, the boss takes 10% more damage, or something of that nature, just so that it adds value to those champions that bring in Feeble, because it kind of weakens Maris's A1 generally. It means that he's now just a max HP, and if you don't need max HP, he's kind of useless. So we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, I apologize uh, if you want to comment on this video and say what a terrible person I am for getting it banned then and, and nerfed then, crack on. Go for it. Absolutely go for it. Next up, we've got Narcissus bug changes. Now, if you remember the video that I did, there was a bug with Narcissus where effectively, because of the way that his phasing was working with the buff checking, he was polymorphing himself by placing block revive. Now, I was always under the impression, and I'm being proven correct here, that that is not the correct behavior of block revive, and that's more of a nuance with the way that they set up White King Narcissus. And they've confirmed it here. It is not normal behavior. Polymorph should not be triggered by block revive. So they're going to be fixing it so that cannot happen. Another bug fix we'll see is Narcissus double hit on his A2. He's double hitting Hydra. I don't really know why. Um, they're going to be bug fixing that. He also is also double hitting the Minotaur, but I think that's because the Minotaur's buff is actually a strengthened buff. So, And finally, we've got White Queen and Korra's passive skill where it's not activating on fear. It's now going to great. These are good buffs to cleanse. There is one more Narcissus bug, though, that has been discovered uh, recently, and that is to do with his block revive still. Now, if you place Enfeeble on Narcissus, yes, we're back to Enfeeble. We haven't forgotten about it. If you Enfeeble Narcissus, then he cannot place block revive because he is weak hitting so if you kill an enemy with his a3 and that enemy has three buffs but he is under enfeeble even if he kills the enemy he is not block reviving now i don't know if that's by design but that seems like a bug to me block revive even though it's a debuff is meant to be an instant effect they placed a debuff so you cannot revive them rather than it being an instant effect but it's designed to stop you from being revived unless you're lydia so I feel like it's that's another thing that needs to be fixed. Basically, Block Revive can apply on a weak hit. So that's something I, I will feed back to the moderation team. They do have a message then about Raid is not available on Facebook Cloud anymore. I don't know what that is. If you're on it, make sure you read the article. And just to confirm that CBC will not have personal rewards next. So basically, guys, I apologize. Uh, I got uh, Enfeeble nerfed, maybe. I, I don't think I did, personally. I think it was always going to happen once people got their hands on Marius and realized how kind of crazy it is. Androx's power is still very good, but he's no longer the best champion in the game for me. Um, that throne is now to be taken by another champion, which I haven't quite determined yet, but probably someone like Cardiel, or maybe even Taras, because he just does everything easily. So we'll have to see what that is about. Now, if you want to unsubscribe to me for getting champion nerfs you go for it but if not make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like this content we wouldn't be able to make sure that these things are checked before you get your hands on these these champions unless we did content on this the worst thing that could have happened is they didn't react to this instantly everyone got marius everyone up updated it everyone was like oh my god this thing is broken and then they nerfed it at least now you can make an educated decision purely on the value of marius's a2 and then his enfeeble in arena that's your choice now. If you don't want to invest in him, then you haven't cost anything, which is good. So that's why we do these things on this channel. I may get accused of getting things nerfed, but at least I'm trying to make sure that you as a player are not missing out and that full information is available. That's what we try to do on this channel. I will try and do a patch notes video this week, but it's been very, very crazy. If not, it will come out over the weekend. But yeah, if you want to see more of this content, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to come talk about update 8.3, the fusion, the festival of creation, everything that's going on, we will be live streaming on this channel at about 8 p.m. UK time on the YouTube channel. Make sure you come and hang out. You can basically ask any questions. We can talk about the update. We'll probably be doing some champion building. My account is a bit of a mess from Cintranos and we'll probably be trying to make sure, like, trying to build some champions up. So it should be a lot of fun. So yeah, if you want to hang out, great. If you want to subscribe, hit that button. And if you've liked this video and you still don't hate me for nerfing Enfeeble, hit the thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video.